just swallowed me yo 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 cpa strength back again with another video now let me just say i'm really excited about this one i'm really excited about this one i'm excited about all of them this is gonna be uh, i believe my 200th youtube video so yeah anyways it's been an awesome ride so far um here's to another 200 if anybody hasn't told you how smart you are and you can do all things, CPA Strength told you that this morning. And if someone says different, you can give them my number and have them holler at your boy. Because I'll tell them they need to, they, they need to stop with their negativity. <laughs> Anyways, this is, uh, this is, what, what series is this, bro? I don't know you have a lot of freaking series, dog. Yo, who are you? Bruh. Community College of CPA. Community College is certified to certify public accountant. Community College to one of the 500,000 certified public accountants in America. Community College to walk in any boardroom and, and have some degree of respect just because of my designation. Yeah. Anyways, this is going to be H&R Block. I worked at H&R Block in the, for the 2012 tax season, my second tax season, which was, I did the 2012 tax year at H&R Block uh, in 2013, so you work kind of a year behind, that's kind of how the uh, tax, pre tax preparation goes. Like, think about it, we're in 2017 now, when it's over, when we're in 2018, we'll do 2017 taxes. Anyways, this is from how I went from community college to certified public accountant, and uh, I totally skipped h and Block. Maybe I saved it for when I had more viewers, I don't know. Um, I didn't do it on purpose, I'm saying the videos just kind of call me. I didn't really have a video this morning, so I started listening to uh, to some TD Jakes and just waited for a video to call me. And this video called me. I thought this video can help uh, the most amount of people. Like this video will help somebody. This this video will inspire and motivate somebody. And so. To have that as really the main focus of your day, it might not be giving me the most monetary benefit right now, but it is giving me the most other benefit, like an inside, like an inside happiness, just to know that what I'm doing right now is going to help somebody and I'm just telling my story. It's just very cool. Anyways, get back to the story, dog. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Um... 2011 uh, and you can go back and look at the series I'll put a card up to the series here um, community college to CPA what I think is important that I do think that's a cool journey but um, started with the vital program in tax year 2011 um, I did H&R block Tax year 2012, and that's what we're going to talk about this video. Tax year 2013, I worked at uh, a CPA firm, and I have a video about how I got that job. So I have a, a video about the VITA program, tax year 2011, and then I have a video on how I got the CPA job, tax year 2013 and 14, because it was two years there. So what happened in 2012? H and R Block, and let me tell you, working a tax year, working a season at H and R Block was integral in me getting a, another job, in, in in me getting the CPA firm job. In essence, it was integral in me getting my CPA license, the H and R Block job. Also, it just taught me 
how to do a personal tax return like I had never been taught before. I went from H&R Block and I knew so much about a personal tax return, a 1040. I knew so much because that's all I was just drilled on that personal tax return, personal tax return. And I told you the classes I took were just little bitty tech classes and I was doing real life stuff, you know, because the stuff they teach you in school and the books is nothing like these people walk in to H&R Block and like you never know who's going to call on the phone, you never know who's going to walk in the door, so you better be on your freaking toes, buddy. And they will ask you everything, like everything. Um... So, I was just thinking, you know, for every story I tell, I have, I could, I could tell 10 mini stories about H&R Block. So, if people want to hear more about H&R Block, leave a comment down below. Tell me, like, you know, like, the kind of people I worked with or just anything you would want to know about H&R Block. I'll make a video on it or, you know, maybe if you want to see it. Anyways, because it was quite a, quite a commotion. Overall, it was very awesome. I mean... It was integral of me getting, of furthering my career. And it just taught me, what I was getting at, I knew so much about personal tax returns. I was showing CP, my like mentor at the CPA firm who was a licensed CPA. I was showing him, uh, you know, literature out of the publication 17, out of the IRS statement or whatever the, about about uh, dependents and stuff. And he was like, what? I was like, hey bro, it's right here. Don't kill the messenger. So, now, it sounds all good. Now I'm telling you right now, okay, I said this was in 2013, it's 2017. So, but it was in 20, well, I'm sorry, okay. Five years before this, five years before right now, it's 2017, it's October 2017. October 2012, mind you, I did the Vita program in the spring of 2012, then I graduated from Florida Atlantic University with a bachelor's in accounting, a four-year degree of accounting, because I went from community college to FAU, and I graduated in August 2012 with a four-year degree uh, accounting degree. What do you do now? Well, I wanted to be a CPA, and what I'm getting at is, so I'm basically on five years. You can't connect the dots going forward, just backwards. I mean, you can try to do them forwards. What I'm saying is, at the time, no one thought h and Block was a good idea, and I'm going to definitely delve, delve deeper into that. Uh, also, what I'm saying is, five years later now, with me looking back at h and Block, it seems like a no-brainer. It's like, duh. It just was like, yeah, Vita h and Block, CPA firm, my own business, eh. Like, duh, um, I had the vision, I had the vision, I knew it felt right inside, I knew H&R Block was calling me, and sometimes you, you know, I always say there's like a couple people that I'll ask their opinion, um, I don't even think these people thought this was a good idea. But it seems like a no-brainer now. So I'm just saying, trust your gut. You know what I mean? Like, because it's your life, and no one knows more about your life than you. The thing is, it was right after right after the right after college, and I didn't do any internships. Side note, I would say do an internship if if that's your option. But I didn't do any internships. I just had a degree. I didn't really do any extracurricular stuff. I was older. I didn't really work. I didn't have any office jobs on my resume or anything. So I just had manual labor and running them streets. And they don't really, when you put on an application, running in them streets, I don't really care too much. Get money in them streets, dog! <laughs> Sir, no. I... Graduated in August, and then I was thinking about what am I going to do after graduation? I don't have anything lined up. I just have this degree. Okay, I want to get a CPA license. How am I going to get a job at a CPA firm? Well, uh, possibly how you could do that was if you have experience from a season at H&R Block. Sounds pretty legit. I mean, what if that doesn't work out? 
and you just work at H&R Block and you can't get a job anywhere else. Well, you can just keep working at H&R Block. Okay. What do you do at H&R Block? You do tax returns. Well, you just did tax returns with the Viter program and you loved it. You finally found something that felt fulfilling because you're just helping regular people get money back and it felt awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So, yeah, do it. Right, well... Uh, it costs money to take the course. Okay, well you just paid like $20,000 to get your, uh, school degree. I mean, each class there costs money, so you're taking another class. So, yeah, I know. But everyone was like, everyone I talked to was like, well you just, you just got a four-year accounting degree and now you're going to the... H&R Block class that you have to pay money for. It just seemed like a, the way to go for what I was for what I was going to do. Because I didn't take any internships because I didn't have any really options. I didn't have anything lined up. And then I was thinking, uh, you know, go to job fairs and this and that. And oh my god. Uh, so it really worked out for me. And... I had the best experience at h and So it helped out career-wise. No one thought it was going to be good. I had the best experience at h and Block. I met some of the greatest people there that helped me so much with taxes, with people skills. There was a guy, Jeffrey, that I worked with that was like a, who was, I think, studying to get his enrolled agent license. And he had this, the vastest knowledge. And he was uh, just a really smart nice helpful guy I would ask him a question like every morning <laughs> I'd be like hey <laughs> and he would like rattle off the code I mean people you know I love Jeff well I, yeah I love Jeffrey Jeffrey's awesome uh there was also a lady uh, uh um Jeffrey was like a little brown a little bit older than me you know five or something years maybe or whatever but then there was a lady Brenda who worked there and she was like 20 or th 20 years older than me and um she was she was just really nice she was like she had some sons and i kind of felt like i you know i don't, I don't know like she would cut up an apple and she would eat her apple and then i would go back there and, and hang out with her and she was just really cool but yeah so that was like the people i worked with i mean i learned so much from that season at h and r block uh, sometimes I think, hey, why don't I go back there? Now I'm not going to say, why don't I, why don't I continue to work there? There are some things. Um, basically it goes to the point of why I don't work anywhere else because I don't like to have my mouthpiece muted by anybody. I feel like I've been muted long enough by my own actions and like, uh, I will just say whatever and then my boss will be like, yo, you can't say that. I'm going to have to fire you and I just can't have that. So that's basically why I don't work there. I don't want to ever say anything bad about anybody or any organization because that's not what I'm about over here. If I talk about somebody, it's because it's a positive experience. So good thing that, yeah, I guess I can talk about pretty much everything from when I walked into the community college to when I got my CPA license because it was totally positive and I'm going to talk about stuff before and after um if you want to hear more about H&R Block like I said leave a comment or leave a comment on if you like this or not I mainly just want to you know get how it's not success isn't just like psh, you know psh, it's kind of like uh, whiny road and this and that and I'm just giving you my story and I love doing this and this video is calling me today so I hope it can help somebody. Till next time, deuces!